Yan. Good morning everyone! Good morning! Welcome to the Daily Grind. Um, today, we're gonna be talking about um usual topic in the stock market with, where the stock market PSE is doing well. But the side topic we're gonna be talking about today is uh, how much um, percentage is already good for a passive income investment. Because um, I've been talking to some friends of mine and may nag message din sa akin ito noon um, asking me about uh, investments and I told them you try this investment uh, the return the, the return is this much um, and I was I was stating how big it is already and he said he, he denied me the, the idea because he said ang ito man ng returns right for a passive income investment so yeah so I tried to explain to him uh, why I why I say it is already very good, and I was able to enlighten him. Uh, I want to address this because ito yung rason bakit and daming pinoy na sa scam, and why why Filipinos do not go for um, these investments when it is already very good. And we're gonna explain that in a bit. Okay, so I want to share. Please, uh, I want to request from you guys. Please share the video. Please share po ang video sa Facebook. Um, well, senior, it's gonna be a very, uh, it's gonna be a very good discussion, especially to your friends who, uh, who wants to invest in um, assets maybe or other businesses, and to give them an idea of how much is already very good as a, uh, as a passive income return. Okay, um, para hindi naman po sila maskam at malaman nila o oh, okay na yun. Okay, so let's start. Um, let me just turn off the music really quick. And so before we start the uh, discussion, this video is recorded live. So pasensya na if I'm gonna be reading comments in a bit if you're watching the replay. Okay, um, may bunta. Good morning, everyone. And so the first um idea I always wanna talk to people when I talk about investments is, um, how much return are you expecting, diba? So I always tell them. I, when I introduce, for example, Pag-ibig MP2 program. Pag-ibig MP2 program, um, ha, for the past three years, an average of 8% annual. I told, I, I give this idea, guys, uh, this investment is going to give you 8% annual passive income. You don't have to do anything. And isa sa sagot na tanggap ko, bakit ang liit naman, Sir Lloyd? Alright, so, yeah, it sounds small, yung 8%, but... I want to push this idea to you guys. All right, um, dito sa Cebu, I don't know with Manila. I'm not really sure with the real estate real estate investments in Manila, but more or less, it's it is on the same spectrum. Yung earnings are playing at the same levels, um, with Cebu with Manila. All right, so dito sa Cebu, a house that is around three m three million, a three million house 
if you buy it, um, if parentahan mo yan, you buy it as an investment, as an as an asset, and parentahan mo yan, that house will yield uh, will get you a rent of around fifteen k a month, right? Fifteen k a month, um. And then, with minus the expenses, some maintenance, more or less, yung clean mo is around 12,000 a month. So I asked, I asked, I always ask this, is 12,000 a month passive income already good for you? Right? And then people always say, yes, ang ganda na niyan, ang laki. Diba? Ang laki ng pakikinggan ng 12K a month. Definitely. Diba? And then, so, I always say this, so let's do the math. If this is okay for you as a passive income already, Let's do the math and how much 12% uh, 12k is. So let me pull up calculator. And I want to ask you, is 12k a month already okay for you as a passive income, diba? Um for me it's already okay. Laki na ng 12,000 a month na passive income. Uh laki ng tulong na niyan. Right? That's already good for me. So let's say 12k na malinis times uh times uh, uh what do you call this times 12 to make it a year. So that's 144,000 um 144,000 pesos, right? 144,000 passive in, passive income in a year. Wala kang ginagawa, may tinatanggap ka 144,000. Okay na? Right? Um you can say yes or you can say no in the comments, please do. Um is that okay for you already? That's already very good. For me, that's already very good. 144k a month, a year without doing anything is a very good. Right now, let's do the math. How much percentage is this of three million? So I don't want to do the math there. Usually, gina Google ko lang yan. <laughs> so what is, what is, what percentage is 140,000 of three million? Right, so when I get the ano, um, what percentage? I just uh, I just percentage calculator. Uh, what is uh, what uh, 144 uh, 144 thousand is what percent of three million? Calculate. So the answer is four point eight percent. Right, so we did the math and. 144,000 is uh 4.8% of 3 million. Okay? That's already very good, right? 4.8%. So in contra in contrast, an 8% return of pag-ibig MP2 program is already very good. Para ka nang mas malaki pa yan sa panagparenta ka sa ba ng house and lot. Okay? Um so sa so 4.5%, that's that that's not just the only uh, what they call this only gains you get from real estate actually um meron pa dyan, factor in pa dyan is uh what they call this is the um ang tawag doon basta um nagmamahal ang ang value ng lupa right whenever um the average is around 4% so you increase the uh the uh uh 4% uh, annually so basically the yung earnings mo dyan sa house and lot is Four point, I mean, around eight to eight percent to eight point five percent. So eight to eight point five percent. So that's what you earn from a real estate um, investment. Eh, kung bahay lang gawin mo. If ever you make the ano, you, you may you turn the property into a uh, parentahan talaga na mas maraming kwarto, mas malaki na. But my point is, um, eight percent annual. If an if an asset you buy, or if an investment you get into gives you 8% a month. That is already very good para ka nang nagpa-bahay niyan at nagparenta. Okay? Um, I can dis uh, we will be discussing more about real estate later but I'm just making it as a contrast sa ano as uh, sa contra I mean to compare as a comparison for the for the presentation of how much percentage is already very good. If a business gives you 8% uh, if an investment gives you 8% annual returns. That's already very good. Para, na ka nag, para ka na nagpabahin yan. The good thing about, let's say, MP2 program, I always I always uh, discuss about this on my seminars because people are not taking advantage taking advantage of this. pag ibig MP2 program, give, um, may report sila for this year uh, above 8% ang binigay nila. So that's already very good. Now, 
the good uh, the advantage of this is sa kagandahan sa MP2 program is 5 years lock lang 5 years ang lock 5 years let me take note of that 5 years lang ang lock now the good thing is you can start it with lesser amounts ang real estate kasi that's why I always discuss real estate as one of the last parts of your your ano your investment is because real estate is number one needs large amounts pangit ang real, real estate investment kung uutangin mo right it needs large amounts right number one disadvantage for that kagandahan yan is tangible yung asset mo right it needs large amount and most importantly ang pangit sa real estate is it's not liquid it we if you need the money right away ni mo makukuha kagad yan kasi if you want to sell it at the right price you have to wait for how many months even years para mabenta yan and the processing takes a lot and ang gastos mag-process niyan so that's the biggest disadvantage of um, investing real estate early part of your life right what if may emergency and you will need the money hindi mo mabebenta kaagad yan and ang tendency mabebenta mo pa mang mas mura yan so i don't recommend going into real estate investments right away go for mp2 program five years lang ang lock and then after that it's already very liquid you can withdraw it anytime right and then ang kagandahan is it doesn't require large amounts kung konti lang ipo natin then lagay na ang konti lang ang lalagay natin 500 minimum a month so i always discuss about that and dami pa pong ibang investments dyan i've been introducing to people about farmon.ph farmon.ph gives around 10 percent a month right and then pasi seed in right also around average is 20 and 10 percent a month i introduced mangingisda.org to everyone which gives 20 percent and it's funny because when i said uh, when I when I introduced mangingisda.org to a friend of mine and I told him 20% ang returns, that's the biggest I can think of, right? Um, he sti still said, ang liit naman. Kasi, na-scam na sila sa ibang investments which promised them around 30% a month. Which is crazy. <laughs> Yan, 30% a month is... Uh, it's unrealistic. So... The problem is, ang, ang naging custom na ng Pilipino is if mag-invest ng maliit, dapat malaki yung returns mo, which is which is not right, right? Okay lang yan if ever it's not passive income. I want to make this a point. If it's not a passive income investment, you can gain more. Okay, you should gain more if it's not a passive income investment. For example, mag-business ka, mag-business ka ng kainan. Siyempre, um, may may trabaho, nagtatrabaho ka pa full time yan. Um, that's why you earn more. It's an okay investment if you have to work for it every day. But if it's passive income na wala kang ginagawa, man, 10% returns is already very good for you. So if you want to check it out, I want to write this. Um, check out. Uh, check these out. Um, Pag-ibig MP2 program. Right. Pa Pag-ibig. So MP2 program. Um, and dami ko na, na discuss about this in my inve uh, in my seminars sa ano sa international uh, sa um, outside the country and ang kagandahan po nito punta lang kayo sa MBC may pag-ibig doon you can start your own MP2 program right away so please do isa yan sa pinakamagandang i-invest ninyo because it's guaranteed by the government it's very safe then try farmon.ph farmon.ph check this out farmon.ph and then Sorry. Bakit na wala yun? So, pag-ibig MP2 program, farmon.ph, farmon.ph, which gives around 10% annually. Um, seed in. Seed in that, ano ba yun? Seed in. Seed in that, PA, dot tech. Ayan. Seed in dot tech. Cdin.tech. So check it out. Uh, ph.cdin.tech pala. ph.cdin.tech. And then, ang problema lang nito is hindi pull all the time pwede kayo mag-invest. You have to watch watch out for projects that will be opening. Cdin.tech, ganun din yan. Uh, Farmon.ph is a crowdfunding website for farmers. Cdin.tech uh, um, is a crowdfunding site for businesses. And then, ito po, um, mangingisda.org, this is managed by me. 
org for the first year since it's it's still it's the first year of operations we gave out 20 percent um for the next year maybe lesser na but it's still gonna be above 10 percent so yes um and abangan nyo lang po yung harvest this December and, or January para makita po natin talaga ang projection so you can see the financials. But check out these four. These are one of the best things I can think of. Marami po po dyan cooperative that gives, um, uh, that gives big uh, returns for your business. Um, sa Cebu, if you're in Cebu, CFI cooperative. For this year, yung friend ko told me na 15% ang nakuha nila. So, if you're, if you're in Cebu, check out CFI Cooperative then. But ngayon, nag-stricter na sila ng membership eh. So, baka overcrowded na sila. So, baka hindi nila ma-deliver yung 15% pag sobrang dami naman ng investors. So, these are the investment things I can recommend to you. Um, do your due diligence. Study about them. Read about them. Uh, para malaman nyo po. But those numbers are already very good. So, my point here is... Again, how, uh, the topic is about how much is uh, how much gains is already very good for a passive income investment. Any passive income investment that gives you eight to ten percent and it's very low risk and the business is good, that's already very good. Dun, dun yung po ilagay ang pera ninyo. I always tell you to diversify. So wag yung po i all in sa isang business. Always wise to diversify in your ano, in your investments. Wag lang po sa isang sa pag-ibig ng bito program. Wag lang po sa farm on. As much as possible, meron kay dito, meron kay dito, meron kay dito, meron kay dito. Marami po, right? Good thing about this is you can start with small amounts. Mamaya na yung real estate. Ang dami nagre real estate ka agad sa mga Pinoy, right? Um, I always discourage that because man, it's not liquid at all. And when when it comes to investments, especially in the early on. Uh, financial journey natin na maliit pa lang ang pera natin uh, mag magagapos po kayo right hindi po kayo makagalaw kaagad if your if your assets are not liquid enough right so i'm going to go to ano uh, i'm going to go to the comments of everyone let's see if ever um uh we have any questions about the topic Right, um, Joseph, sir, assured by yung 20% sa mga isda? For the first year, we are assuring the 20% since that's the pro pilot project. Um, I can I am able to assure that because I am managing it myself. I am putting my funds at risk. May pera po ako na itabi para just in case there will be risk dyan. Um, but you're gonna see it after the first harvest. Makikita niyo po how feasible it is already. I am, I am sacrificing my own money as a risk factor because we have that business right we have that as a family business and it's been doing it's, it's doing good for us we just want to share it we just want to expand it to the other fishermen since alam na namin ang management i am comfortable with the risk already so yes we are able to assure that pio campanero junior sir morning insights a big thanks for etor especially you sir earn much bigger than my previous dollar account mag open um na kayo, then copy trade more power yes um, you're welcome, um, Pio. Uh, Pio is into investing in eToro. Right? So, eToro naman, but then I also consider um, uh, what they call this uh, eToro as a passive income um, sec uh, uh, what they call this passive income source because you can copy trade in eToro. Right? Mas high risk nga siya, pero mas high reward naman. If you want more than 20%, and then lagay nyo sa eToro. If you have funds na gusto nyo mas malaki returns, if you want high returns, syempre, punta kayo sa high risk na passive income, go for copy trading. Ang dami sa copy trading na re-return ng 40%, 50% annual. And that's already very, 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 very good. Right? So, check out copy trading also. Hindi ko na-mention dito. I wanna add this one. Copy trading. Copy trading. Trading with eToro. Potential niyo po dito is from 20% to siguro average lang is around 50% annual return. So that's much, much more bigger returns for uh, for free investments. Pero um, since if you want to go for high risk, high reward, dapat um, not lahat ng pera ninyo ha. It should be extra money. For example, bibili sana kayo ng iPhone, eh, gumagana pa yung phone ninyo. Huwag mo na ibili ng iPhone. Lagay mo lang sa copy trading na itoro yung pera na yun, right? Tutubo pa yan kaysa sa iPhone na nagde-degrade ng value. Okay? So, Pio Caponero, you're welcome. Um, congratulations sa earnings mo for copy trading. Sir, in copy trading, if you want to lock in profits only but 
um, but still continue copy training that person. How do you do it? You have to stop copying and then copy him again. Ria Leiko, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Nakafan na po sa itoro po join naman pamasko nyo. Send me, uh, yeah, send me a message. Hindi ko niya na replyan kanina. Um, yun, um, Babayarin si Bloom, MBT po. Kamusta? Basahin natin yan later. Ask ko lang po mag sa Itoro BPI account from Dragon Pay kung sakaling mag-window saan mga account papadala ni Itoro. Papadala nila sa... Um, sa B, uh, they will be asking for uh, an account where they will be sending it to. to. And then, yan. Um, bigay nyo lang po yung BPI ninyo. Um, good morning, Sir Roy. Do you recommend diversify port on e in ERT? Is that Itoro? Um, diversified copy trading po, wag po sa isang tao lang mag copy trade in eToro, eh? different accounts to copy traded yes, as much as possible you get three okay, good morning Sir Lloyd from Richard New, good morning Richard Sir, ano po yung copy portfolio na related sa food hindi ko po makita, eh, balak ko mag invest alright, so this is one of the um, copy trading funds I always recommend for to you guys um, food and drinks food and drinks eh, food and drinks okay, food and drinks, ito yung isa uh, the portfolio, look at the portfolio and um, the stats of this portfolio for this year. This uh, The return is already 25.51%. 25.51%. So this is very good returns for you. Um, yeah, you can al also go for this funds right here. Um, ang gandahan dito is hindi po siya lock in. So anytime you gain, you can always withdraw your money. But this has also already been giving 25.51% for 2019. So that's a very good investment return. For you. So, food drinks po. Food drink po ang pangalan. For this is question ni Becca Tangan. Uh, Rods, um, Rob Legaspi, Sir Lloyd, itataas pa ba, um, may itataas pa ba si SMPH? When do you think is the right time to take profits? Hey, <laughs> congratulations SMPH. Yes, lumilipad si SMPH. Momentum pa siya ngayon eh. I don't want to sell it yet. Ang layo pa maabutin yan. I'm for long term kasi for SMPH. Jason Delacruz, good morning sir. Ano effect na decision pa bayarin ng Bloom? Um, yeah, uh, daanan natin yan mamaya. Kasi last time po, nahihirapan po ako kumuha ng slot. Kay Becca Tangan. Ah, okay. Uh, from Becca Tangan, last time nahihirapan kumuha ng slot. Yes, kasi if it's a legitimate business, yung farms kasi may limit lang. So, paunahan po talaga yan. We're gonna be opening in January after we uh, we give you the financials. Yung pakita namin yung harvest and then the financials behind one one harvest in mangisda.org and then we're gonna open open more cages for mangisda.org. Uh, for next year, um, we do not assure the twenty percent uh, anymore, but uh, what I can assure you is mataas po ang return sa mangisda.org, right? More than ten percent, right? Usually, sir, in copy trading, if you want to lock in profit, so yeah, nabasa na natin na lahat ng questions. I'm gonna go back. Um, Tommy Escobedo, good morning coach. Ano po masasabi niyo bago ngayon ang website ni Call Financial, Call Advantage. Introduce nila nitong last seminar nila. Ay, nga pala, I'm gonna make a review about that kasi may bago ng platform si Call Financial. Most probably next week, I'll, I'll, ano, um, I'll, I'll write about this, um, Call, Call Advance. Advantage, wala. Advantage. So, I'll, I'll make this a topic next week so that I can show it to you guys. Good morning, uh, RB. Um, yan, sir. Maganda umaga. Yan, so, very good. So, the topic, our main topic is done. We are gonna go to our topic for PSE. So, PSE, as you know, yan, si PSEI. Uh, closed at 7756, which is a green for yesterday. That's very good for the market. And um, amidst the, ano, um, kahapon po lang international market, eh, but we were green. Uh, for ka um, kahapon, green. Uh, um, kagabi po lang international market. So I'm also expecting a pullback for for this day. Okay, baka magpula yan today. So konti ingat pa rin. We were not yet out of the woods. Hopefully, maganda ang kalalabasan ng China and U.S. Tra trade war talks, trade talks nila. Hi, nako. Um, it's making my port red, but that's okay. Because, yan, you don't put emotions in your port. If pulahan ka, if you know what you're doing, I am going for long term in my portfolio. So, okay lang yon. Okay? Um, PSEI, expecting a red for today. Uh, hopefully, I'm wrong. But, yeah, laki ng red na international market yesterday. Uh, DJR, DJI and Nasdaq, negative 1.5%. Laking negative niyan. And SPY, laking red niyan. So, we're expecting a red for P 
TSCI for today. Magtot- matatakot naman ang mga investors niyan. Uh, most probably. So my picks for today still are bottom picks. I don't want you to go aggressive in this market. I'll go to the comments and read everyone's comments. Joel Ligales, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Larka, good morning. Joel, um, first ka na ngayon na, Joel. Hop, sir, isang madugong umaga, IRC and FB and RC people. Yes, madugo international market. But, man, our friends in the day trading group, right? Nagde-day trade po kasi ang mga kaibigan natin, mga kapatid natin, mga day traders sa... Uh, Ano, sa international market and they are doing well right they're do- doing well Jed Villardo a good friend of mine uh, here in Cebu uh, JF Vill HR Jed Villardo uh, HR yeah, so high risk account ni Jed um, it's already doing 11.58% doing day trading so matindi right uh, these guys are doing day trading right Um, RB Necesito, RB Necesito is also doing day trading for for this month. She, she's already already up 8.05 last month. Look at that, 105.97%. That's 106%. She is gonna be our speaker for day trading. Siguro one of these days. So we still have um, days naman to talk about this. The money behind day trading. Right, um, ang pwede nyong kita sa day trading. Right, so this November, I just want to shout this out before we continue. This November 10 and 11. November 10 and 11. Right, so tignan nyo po ang post ko sa fin- uh, Financial Freedom 101. Um, pinakauna po niyan is here. Alright, so. Yan, so this is RB. Nasasito Raquel. Nasasito. She is our speaker. Uh, she is my co-speaker for the seminar this November 10 and 11. Two days po yan, dalawang session. First session is the technical analysis and the science behind day trading. Ang day two po niyan is actual trading. So it's gonna be very important. Makikita niyo po dyan. Actual trading, RB is gonna trade for us for the first half and the second half. She's gonna guide you when you try to trade and look for uh, look for signals to get in. So malaman niyo po how she is doing it. This seminar is for free. Please share this to your friends. Please share this to your trading groups. This is free. Pakishare po itong post na ito. Huwag niyo po sasayangin ang opportunity na ito uh, so that you will know how to do day trading and make it your career if you want to in the future. Kakasimula pa lang ng month and RB is already doing well in her day trading uh, in her day trading profile. So amazing, amazing. Right? So she is gonna share to us the, the strategy and show show us her strategy. Actual trading po ang gagawin po natin. Right? That's something different from the pre, yung mga na, alam nyo po mga trading seminars. So I hope you join the seminar. Wag nyo po sa yung opportunity. Okay? So I wanna shout out that. RB is watching right now. Siya po yung RB Necessito Itoro Day Trading na channel. Nag-comment kanina. I'll put it on the comments. Um, You can go to her channel and also subscribe. Please subscribe kasi magsisimula na siya gumawa ng mga videos about day trading also. So please subscribe to her, her channel also. Shout out to RB, the Filipina who won 13th. Ayan, naka-place po siya ng 13th in the eToro trading competition for the whole Asia po yan. Amazing. Good job, RB. Alright, um, ayun, uh, going back to the comments when I first saw you. <laughs> right, Hops. Chris Canilan, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Marlo Baro, Romain Buntag, Sir Dugo. Ang morning, yes, naman, Port Itoro, Port Co, pero hold pa rin at sana positive results ng US-China trade talk bukas at sa Friday. Yes, magkaka-trade talks po si China at US. Hopefully, maganda naman po yung labas. If it's good, then uh, I hope it's final already. Matapos na yung drama na yan because sakit sa ulo ang um, pulahan na port. But I'm gonna be. I'm planning to add more funds. Um, if ever mag stabilize na, so yun po yung strategy ko. I'm going long term for stocks in the international market since it's not healthy to trade it. Air Plata, good morning, Coach and Lika, Miss Apple. Have a great day. Ad. Oh, si Air Plata isa rin yan sa mga nagte trade sa ito. Ro, tingnan nga natin ang performance ni Air Plata for last. Uh, Air Plata, was it Air Plata 19 or Air? Ayoto, alaka Air Red. So. She's already, f- ah, hindi pala, I don't know if this is air. Air, plata. <laughs> wag na nating ano, wag na nating i-hot seat. So, no stats on display, naka ano si air. Naka, naka, naka private. Ayan. But, I've seen the post of air. She's doing well for, 
for trading already. So, congratulations, Air. Hindi ko lang kasi mahanap yung post mo. Post niyo naman sa Billionaires Club para makita ng mga tao. Dexter Hansel, magandang umaga. Raymond Arano, good morning, Sir Lloyd. AC, AGI, and uh, si AC, na-recommend ko yun na butegahin nyo, especially kahapon na nagsisimula ng umakyat. So, I hope nakapasok na kayo kay AC yesterday. Um, AGI, si AGI naman, um, we're waiting for the green of AGI. So, this is the pullback. Any green now will be a confirmation of the support and that will be our buy signal for AGI. Um, SMPH, 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 uh, MA20, and dito ko niyan ni-recommend si SMPH. Eh, and taas na. So I don't want to recommend it anymore. It's been touching the upper Bollinger Band. So still, we have momentum for the stock. So I don't want to sell it yet as much as possible. Mukhang malayo-layo. Baka mag-all-time high pa ito ulit si SMPH. Eh. So... Stay put, stay put, and if you're happy already, if you are already scared of the future movement, nasasayangan na kayo ng pera, that means your emotion is getting the most of you already. Ginugulo na kayo ng emotion ninyo, so what you do is sell half already. Benta nyo kalahati, I tell you, yung emotion nyo maiimsan. So, sell half of it if ever um, hindi na kayo comfortable with your wins. Natatakot na kayo mawala. Okay? Kasi when your emotions start to kick in, you tend to do Wrong mistakes. <laughs> right, so, yeah. Um, benta nyo po kalahate. Roel Camacho, good morning, coach. Insights nyo po, please, um, sa PIP and VUL. Si VUL, ang ganda ng support. Eh. We talked about the support of VUL. Um, let it pull back and bounce and that is where you enter it. PIP. Uh, si PIP, mukhang okay naman. Eh. Nag-green green naman. Uh, after this hitting the support, nag-stabilize naman siya. If you wanna trade it, this is a good time to test it out. Uh, use that as your support for PIP. Chief Mer- Mer- Mic- Microm. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ask ko lang po mag-fund sa eToro 3 BPI. Yan, naba- nasagot ko na yun kanina. Lizel Coleto, Maing Bunta. Good morning. Jason De La Cruz. Good morning, Sir. Ano effect ng decision na pagbayarin ang Bloom, MBT yan, pagbayarin ang Bloom, most probably it's gonna pull Bloom back, especially ngayon na manipis ang market, uh, any bad news tends to make the stocks go down. O nga pala guys, GFC, alright, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay GFC when I recommended it, nagsisimula na umakit sa GFC and it's touching the upper Bollinger Bands already, so we know this where most probably this is going already. Congratulations sa mga nag-average down, sa mga bumili more. This is a very good spot for us. Hopefully, magtuloy-tuloy ng uptrend ulit si Jollibee. Kalang, I'm not expecting that much with the market right now. Pero hopefully. Um, Sir Bloom, um, tignan ko nga si Bloom. Tignan ko ang news na yan. Hindi ko, na, hindi ko kasi nabasa yung, uh, yung, yung news na yan. Eh. News, all stocks. No, not all stocks. News. Um, news, corporate um, uh, website, Bloomberry ordered to pay $100 million in damages. Ooh, this is bad. This is gonna be big losses for laki nito. Damages to G, GAM, Singapore-based tribunals, ordered Bloom, resource pay of a million, global gaming asset management, damage for loss management fees for their termination of its management service 2013, cost to buy back, disclosure, Monday, Bloomberg said that arbitral hearing is dispute. Dini-dispute pa naman nila, but this is bad news, so it's, this might make Bloom uh, volatile today. So, volatile on the downside. Sadly, wala tayong short selling. Ganda sana short sell nito. Yung kagandahan pag may short sell, eh, pag may bad news, alam talaga natin babagsak kasi isyo short ng mga tao yan. Makikita nyo, laki na selling. Eh, bumabagsak ang stocks. And kung may kikita tayo, sa, sadly, abang na lang tayo. Right? Sa so, mga nagtitrade sa kanya, um, hopefully, you have entered at the support. At least, mga pagkatlos po kayo na maayos. So, yan. Um, good morning. So, may question si Irene Suzuki. Buy na ba si Bloom? May bad news po si Bloom eh. So, I don't want to recommend it. It's gonna make it volatile. Ang laki ng, laki ng volume ni Bloom kahapon. Um, but, I wasn't able to monitor this. Anong cost ng volume niya? Please check it out kung baka cross-trade lang naman. So, yeah. Um, bad news kay Bloom eh. Rhea Leiko, sir. Good morning. Naka-fun na po. Itoro. Uh, pasay pa mas ko, PM San kanina. Thank you. Question, Ox lang ba if puro copy trip people lang gawin ko? Hindi po marunong mag-trade sa eToro. Thank you and God bless. That's the best part of eToro. If hindi po kayo marunong mag-trade, if wala po kayong oras, you just copy trade. Yung traders na magagaling lang ang i-trade ninyo instead. Alright, so uh, when I recommend a fellow Filipino of ours, uh, Jed Villardo. Jed Villardo has a low-risk account na pwede nyo pong kopyahin. This one right here. Wag yung HR ha. 
and she is earning already what please she's already up 1.39 for September October hindi pa gumagalaw if yung HR niya yung uh, kung makapasok kayo sa high risk account niya this is where he does day trade pero limited lang na kopya nito this is a very good um, trader you can copy pero maliitan lang pwede niyo kopya hindi to around 200 to 500 dollars lang um if you're looking for other people, go to copy people, ito dito, and then please scroll down. If you're a low risk, uh, low risk trader, low risk lang naman hanap ninyo, try these guys, malaki pala ng returns lang, kahit low risk itong mga tao na ito. JK69 is a good trader, strongly uh, strongly recommended. Um, um, if you are into medium risk scores, mas malaki ang returns, 81%, 62%. If high risk player naman kayo, look for these guys, um, pwede nyo po tingnan ito sila at try nyo po sila ng mga traders. So, yun. Um, going back. Anilin. Ayan, nabasa natin kanina. Uh, Pio Campanero, uh, big, big thanks to eToro, especially you, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Earned much bigger than my previous dollar account. Mag-open account kayo. Copy trade. More power and God bless. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Jovita na L, sir. You assured po ba yung 20% sa mga slot? So, first year po. Kasi last time, nahirapan ako kumuha ng slot. Sir, ano po ba yung copy portfolio na related sa po? Nabasa na natin yan kay Becca. Uh, good morning, coach. Do you recommend diversified port in eToro? Yes, definitely. Richard New, good morning. Richard New, is gonna. Uh, we're gonna be featuring him also in the future. right? We're looking for a schedule for uh, for Richard New. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Tanong ko lang sa eToro, walang averaging down. Meron pong averaging down sa eToro. You just, you just buy more of the stocks. Pero it will, hindi nyo po makikita average nyo. You will get um, two, for example, um, portfolio. Ano ba nasa virtual portfolio ka ngayon? Go to virtual port. And then, gold. Ayan, si gold, meron akong ano? Meron akong short sell din. So, gold. Um, I want to trade again gold and short sell it. Um, another $1,000. Leverage times 1. Stop loss, open trade. So, ay, nag, ayan, nag, ano siya, nag, nag-add siya dito. So, there it is. Um, basically, ang nangyari is we average down. Okay. So, nagdagdag siya 1,000 lang to kanina. So, now I'm invested 2,000 in eToro. So, pwedeng ganun. Rob Ligaspi, Sir Lloyd, may itataas pa ba si SMPH? When do you think it's right time to take profits? Hehe, <laughs> salamat. Ayan, you're, you're getting ahead of yourself already. So, yung emotions ninyo medyo uncomfortable na. So, sell part of it para mag, mag-relax kayo. Jason De La Cruz, good morning, sir. Ano effect ng decision pa bayarin si Bloom? MBT po, kamusta? Si MBT, ganda. Um, I already recommended MBT the past few days. Uh, starting to go up and last nang inakit kahapon ka nag sell off ka agad so this is a good pullback let's see what, what MBT is gonna give us maybe it's gonna give us a support hopefully it does that's a very good sign if ever uh, give us it gives us a support that will be an entry point most definitely so abangan lang natin Tommy Eskibuidi good morning coach ano po masasabi nyo sa bago ngayon yan si Cole pag-usapan natin yan one of these days last week pag-usapan natin RB good morning David Joe Agustin sir maganda umaga Oh, sorry. Sa ating lahat, good morning din, Mecca. Sir, any insights po kay AC? Al, uh, si AC, na-recommend ko na kahapon, umakakit. LHC, definitely for long term. LHC, especially now na nasa baba siya ngayon. So, this is a good support for LHC. If it bounces, then that is a buy for me. Si LHC. Um, as na yun? Si Meg naman. Right, um, recommended Meg also at the support uh market siya pero nagpo pullback pa ngayon next bounce should be a very good entry point for Meg ISM is at 5 pesos it's still a buy for me at this price this is the time to start buying ISM so hopefully nakabalik buy na kayo and DNL bodega lang for DNL this is a good company magre-recover na naman yan uh, it's just that market sentiments are down for DNL right now um, bodega ang re-recommend ko for DNL just keep buying more if ever it goes further down so, wala namang bad news sa company Juvi, Juvi, good morning. Oops. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ask ko paano mag-change na sa team ng Itoro. Nagkaroon kasi ng Bollinger Band yung chart ko. Gusto ko palitan ng candle. Uh, hindi kasi ako techie. Alright, so let's open charts ni Itoro. For example, si Gold. Uh, view chart, view chart. Yan, so eto. So si chart, just go for candles. Dito, candles. And then, there it is. Go for, click on candle. Uh, anong candle gusto mo? Halo candle right so sa ano naman sa sa charts naman i will click on this as much as possible kung ito yung ginagamit niyo charting go for launch pro charts 
So, mag, magla-launch siya ng pang-chart lang talaga ni eToro. And then, this is a good charting tool. For example, meron ka ng Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands is here. Uh, tools 1, uh, Bollinger Bands is here, di ba? Okay. So, create. So, may Bollinger Bands na tayo. Um, if ever gusto mo yung mawala. Right. So, um, ang alam ko is Tools, Bollinger Bands. Paano nga ba tanggalin yun? Um, <laughs> nakalimutan ko, hindi ako nagtatanggal kasi usually nawawala ito on its own. Eh. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll look for a way to ano. Ang alam ko meron, is, meron kasi itong ano eh. Meron tong meron tong restore eh. Yeah, um, I'll get back to you on this. Paano tanggalin ito? Right? Um, um, jo Joseph Tanael, ano po YouTube niya ni RB? Yan, um, I already posted as a chat. RB necessito itoro day trading. Alright. Um, where is the last comment? Yan. So, I'm tapos na tayo kay Juvi. I'll get back to you, ano, Juvi, okay? So, how do we transfer itoro US stocks to another broker? Um, this is Gary De La Cruz. I will recommend you email eToro for that. That I'm not sure how. So you can email this guy, Jeff Gu at eToro.com for that question. Right? How much your make today? This is from Paate KH. I'm not day trading actually. So mark international market is down. So I'm down for today. My portfolio is a real portfolio. I am negative 238 as of today. Uh, negative $200, but those are um, paper losses naman because I'm holding the positions anyways. So yeah, th that's my negative for today, as of today. Um, next is uh, Joseph Tanael. Ayan, ano, ayan. So I just chatted it. My buntag, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, Dice. 2007 Dice. Thank you sa support, sir. You're welcome. RB, thank you then for helping everyone. Becca Tangan, hi sir. San po makikita ito yung mga stats for certain stocks if buy, hold, or sell? Alright, very good question. Uh, for example, si Microsoft, go for newsfeed. Nasa newsfeed yan first. Uh, search for, uh, for example, um, Microsoft MSFT. Alright, so Microsoft, search nyo po dito sa taas and then click it. And then once you click it, gagawas yung, lalabas yung profile ni Microsoft and then punta kayo dito sa research. This one right here on the upper right part. And if you click on research, makikita nyo po dyan ang analysts na mga, ano, sinasabi ng mga analysts. Okay? So, and then, consensus for Microsoft is still gonna go up even the average. Um, uh, so, everyone is a buy. Right? So, no one is hedging it. Um, so, no, may mga nag-reduce, may mga nag-add then. So, if you wanna read their articles, just click here. Makikita nyo po bakit sabi nila, buy. Yan. Alright. Um, and so, that's for Becca Tangan. Becca, hi sir, good morning. San mga po makikita itoro stats? Or nga pala, let's go to my picks for today. Um, here are my picks for today. It's eight. Uh, it's already 9 o'clock. So, my picks for today is only 3. Tatlo lang po ang may buy signal na nakikita ko for now. So, number 1 si C. Nag, buy na, uh, nag green na si C near the support. So, this is a good support confirmation for C. My short term support tayo dito and we have a green. So yeah, C is good to test. So gusto mag-trade, pwede nyo po i-trade si C ngayon. Um, mid to long term, I want to recommend FLI. We have a good buy signal for FLI already. We confirmed that support. This is a massive support for FLI. Actually, ang recommendation ko dito is bodegahin nyo po. Buy some now. If it goes further down, we are gonna be reaching malapit na. Napakalapit na ng major support ni FLI. So you just buy more there. Right? So for FLI, yun po ang strategy natin. Jan, then lastly, si RRHI, RRHI, recommending RRHI here. Bakit? We have volume already for RRHI and this support uh, area ni RRHI. Oi, congratulations um, sa recommended MRSGI the past few days. MRSGI is already going up. Yan, ayan na si MRSGI. So we recommended it, that it here sa support. And nagsisimula na market RHI, I mean, si MRSGI, congratulations sa pumasok doon. Um, 
Guys, I will be uploading videos soon. I'm still figuring out YouTube. Thanks sa mga nag-subscribe na. Alright, RB. Congratulations. Air Plata, sir. Sorry, bad account name. May gamit ko. Bawal kasi Canada. <laughs> name ko is Aldrin Plata. 08. Sir, pasilip McDo and Visa. Oy, sinabi mo sa akin yung profile mo. So, I want to share this to everyone. Uh, ito yung ginagamit ni AR na profile. And... I just want to shout it out. One of the successful people in trading already. So, she started very small. Uh, she started with losses because she wanted to do day trading. Um, uh, si, ano, si AR. And then, now she's doing day trading. Look at October performance. Right? October. So, October. After our seminars, after watching videos, after applying the videos, she is now recovering 19.15%. And this is doing day trading trading, right? Makita niyo po anong ginagawa niya. Gold, right? Gold is for day trading, forex for day trading. She's already doing well in day trading already. Medyo negative ka sa simula niya, but that's excusable kasi kakasimula niyo pa lang. Na, and then you start learning uh, September, medyo negative, and then October, you're already doing well. Congratulations, AR. Alright? Um, McDo and Visa. McDo is, I'm recommending eh, McDonald's, uh, MC ba yung McDonald's? Yan, MCD. Alright, McDonald's. I always recommend McDo for long term. Um, kahit po magka-trade wars dyan, um, hindi po titigil ang mga tao sa pagkain. Right? So, McDo is gonna recover. Isa yan sa unang mga magre-recover. Then, Visa, especially right now, that um, uh, in, uh, the world is online. Visa is gonna be very useful. But Visa here at the support, and then, um, actually here, uh, medyo nag-negative si Visa, pero bumalik naman. Um, we're seeing sideways movement for Visa. So, if you can enter near here to the support, that's the best entry point for Visa. But right now, again, I don't want to trade the international market. Medyo mahirap uh, because of the trade wars. Best to just hold, um, just go for long term. Bjorn Tulosni, uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Tugs and Primex, please. It tugs recommend been recommending tugs for um, at this support, and yeah, um, it's still a buy for me. Okay, pa rin si tugs. I recommend ko si tugs kahapon, I believe, di ba? Um, sure, uh, it's still a buy for me, and then si tugs after ni tugs si Primex naman, and si Primex, P R M X. It's Primex. Ang tinitingnan ko to kanina, ang ganda ng support ni Primex. Eh. It's just that heavy ang market ngayon. Baka mag-fail ang support. But the good thing about this is, you are at a very low risk position. If you want to trade right now, these are one of the best positions to trade. Ang ganda na ng movement ni Primex. Look at the RSI gaining momentum. Wala nang nagbebenta. Ibig sabihin yan. Kaso nga lang, wala pang bumibili. Jason Dela Cruz, good morning sir. Ano po recommended nyo sa MBT? Sa MBT is bodegahin nyo po sa MBT. Right? Uh, pag mag green yan, you, that's our buy signal. Start buying already. If it goes further down to this major support, dito ko po siya inaabangan talaga. This is where you go buy again. Right? Ang problema kasi nito, hindi, hindi natin alam kung bababa pa yan dito. So, baka ang ending, kung gusto nyo si MBT, um, umakit yan, hindi na kayo makabili. Ma mas mahal yung mabibili. So, you just buy now. If it goes further down, you just buy more here. Okay, Bernard Ryan Blanco, abangan naman, abangan namin yan, Miss RB. Hayan. Um, Juvi, uh, if uh, uh, speaking of RB, sa mga kakapanood lang, we have 200 viewers. Uh, go to our Facebook page. And po, we are gonna, we are gonna be doing a day trading seminar with RB. Hayan, and this is for free. Alay po ng Financial Freedom 101 and Miss RB yan to share her knowledge to you, to everyone. So, please join this. Huwag niyo po sasayangin. Go to my page and then uh, register po kayo dito. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then, also, please share this to your friends. Yeah, mas marami tayo, mas maganda, mas maraming matututo. Uh, just just don't forget to share this. It's a very good opportunity kaysa magbayad ang mga yan sa mga seminars. Here po, libre. And pure knowledge po, hindi po kami magbebenta dito or anything. Hindi po namin ibebenta yung products or anything. This is for free. You know me. Libre lang halos mga seminars natin. Okay? Um, ayan, so just want to shout out that seminar again. Please join the seminar. Juvi, waiting lang po mga confirmation ni Itora pa makapag-fund na for Juvi. Juvi, Mark Andrew, Danila, Sir Lloyd, good morning. URC po, sir. URC has been 
doing well. And then, take yung pullback ni URC. Eh. Pag nag-pullback ito and then mag-bounce, saka ko naman siya i-recommend. Pero hindi tayo binibigyan ng ano yun. Ganda ng bounce ni URC. This is a very good sign for URC. Very good sign for the market actually. Nirecommend ko si URC dito. Lumipad. Um, ngayon, pa-downtrend pa siya. I'm waiting for a pullback. If it gives us a higher low, that will be a good entry point for URC. Um, abang lang tayo. Uh, good morning po. Comment nyo po kay JFC. Thanks po sir. I've been recommending JFC. Uh, pwede nyo pa pong bilhin sa JFC. Hindi po natin alam kung bababa pa yan. If you're planning to invest in JFC, this is the best time to start buying it. Bilhin nyo po si JFC. If it goes further down, just keep buying it. Um, Sobrang simple lang. And it's, JFC is showing us good signals already. So, baka umangat na si JFC. So, baka maiwan na kayo. Real Labanta. No more niya, sir. How about Fen and PPG? Si Fen, Fen, Desara Fen. Um, may support si Fen, di ba? And, um, yeah, this is good for Fen. Pero I don't want to recommend it here. Um, overall, still on a downturn, massive downturn. We're seeing lower lows. Ito po yung lower low niya. We are not seeing a good lower high yet. And then, let's see if it will give us a higher low or maybe create a support kung, pa, kung gusto nyo pasukin si Fen. But right now, I'm not seeing any buy signal for Fen. Uh, this might be good, pero parang downtrend continuation lang yan. Hindi pa natin alam because of this lower low that Fen gave us. So, it's really tricky right now, okay, Fen. I can't say if it's a buy yet. Um, PPG... Si PPG naman, ayun, nag-recover ka si PPG. So, we are, we're expecting a resistance here, PPG. Hopefully, balikan niya yung support. Pag nag-confirm ng support yan, that will be our entry point. I don't want to recommend PPG right now. Um, Paul Mark Celeste, hi sir, good day. Tech and Expo, please, Tech. Si Tech naman, wala pa rin buyers eh. Right, nag-green siya. So, there's divergence in Tech. Ganda ng divergence. Pero, wala pang buyers, wala pang investors kay tech. Kaya, hindi pa rin nakaka, ano. Pero, ibig sabihin lang kasi nito is, there are no sellers, hindi na siya oversold levels. It's just that, walang buyer. Well, hindi siya makaangat kasi walang buyer. It's because the market is, has no investors. Right? So, ang tendency niyan, pag walang investors, maiinip yung nakapasok dyan, baka magbenta rin ulit sila at baka bumagsak. But, Right now, chart is telling us na wala na nagbebenta. Hopefully, ma-sustain yun at pumasok ng mga buyers. Uh, any news kay tech that will be very good. This should help propel tech anytime soon. Uh, I cannot recommend it yet since we don't have enough uh, we don't have enough uh, catalyst for it to, to move. Right click lang, sir, to remove indicator. Ah, thank you so much, Air. So, what you do is right click. Ayun, right, just right click the, ano, right click nyo lang po yung Bollinger Band and then mawawala yung indicator. I, f I remember now. Thank you, RB. Kasi hindi na akong gumagamit ng itoro na, na chart. Eh. Ang ginagamit ko kasi na chart is um, tradingview.com na. Alright. Um, Marlo Baroro, right click sa para mawala indicator. Thank you, Marlo. Uh, Rafael Dominguez, sir, para matanggal lang tool tulad ng Bollinger Band, just right click. Thank you so much for helping. Okay. Um... Morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasilip si Intel, Starbucks. Thanks. Starbucks, one of my favorite stocks. Pwede nyo pong investan sa Starbucks. Invest na. Bili nyo na Starbucks. Nakape. Ang pera nyo. Invest nyo lang kay Starbucks. Right now, it's still on a downtrend. But, these are the stocks I wanna start investing in. Um, so, si Starbucks, bababagsak pa. Um, hopefully, we can see a buy. Meron tayong engulfing pattern dito. Eh. We can see a buy anytime soon. Pag nag-buy signal yan, you can test it out. Right, that's gonna be a very good time to test out Starbucks. I'm gonna be investing in Starbucks. This is a very good pullback for Starbucks. So for mga investors, this is our chance to start to start buying Starbucks. Nahit na natin ng RSI, very good RSI. So this there should be a buy signal anytime soon for Starbucks. Um, Intel. Uh, Intel. Lower highs, so baka tapos na yung, uh, baka tapos na yung uptrend ni Intel. So, I don't want to recommend it yet. Short lang yung uptrend niya since uh, the international market is in turmoil. So, most probably mag-reversal pa ito. Hopefully, bumalik sa support yan. Pag bumalik sa support, definitely buying Intel. Uh, for now, wala pe. Intel, Starbucks. Right. Gary Vincent. So, si Gary V, isa sa mga idol ko na 
speaker, hindi yung singer, right? Gary V, minsan pag napapanood ko yung video na napapatrabaho ako, minsan tinatamad ako magtrabaho when I listen to Gary V's um, uh, messages uh, uh, as a motivational speaker. Napapabangon ako and start working because I owe it to my the skills that I that, that was given to me. Hindi ko po sasayangin. <laughs> Sample buying US ETF, please. Um, sample buying UF ETF please uh, I don't ha- funds ETFs um, ang funds kasi na US na sa ang mga funds kasi copy portfolios ang pinapasok ko so if you wanna look for funds that are good I, stru- I recommend 5G revolution and food and drinks right um, if you wanna invest with Carly Khan pwede rin naman si Carly Khan right so she uh, Carly Khan the people in stock market are negative uh since we are in stocks right so kung gusto mo si uh what you call this si Carly Khan one of the best together with um uh, Warren Buffett all right y- yung funds ni Warren Buffett you can go for Berkshire Hathaway so just click on his funds pwede rin kayo mag-invest dito for for this year ang performance ng portfolio niya is 14% still overall. Maganda pa rin ang takbo ni Warren Buffett. Overall, gum- kumita pa rin si Warren. Last year, negative 14% ang funds ni Warren, Mr. Warren Buffett. But these are the funds available. Ang dami po magandang funds sa eToro. Right? Um, you can go into these um, Nop- Napoleon X, Multicrypto, na AI. Ang dami po niyan. Uh, Yield King, uh, Warren Buffett. Yan. So, mga funds po ito available ni ano ni Itoro. So, there are so much more funds here. I recommend 5G Revolution Food and Drinks. Um, also renewable energy. Right. If you think there there's good future in renewable energy, here's a fund for renewable energies. You can invest in this. The statistics of this is doing very well. 12 percent already for this year, and I think it's still gonna go up in the future since this is the future of energy. Um. Yan. Wala nang bosses so. Patapos na naman tayo, anyways. Um, <laughs> I love, um, I love ends. That is correct. Speaking three languages simultaneously. <laughs> Alright, uh, sample buying US ETF, please. Dalawa lang naman ang sinasabi ko, ha? English and Tagalog. Anyways, Edward Vince, morning sir. Pasilip po sa Intel Starbucks. We covered that already. Salamat, sir Lord. You're welcome. Uh, Coach, Red Macariola, ano po highly recommended nyo today sa PSEI? Those are the recommendations, C, FLI, and RRHI. Um, Rene Tado, good morning, Sir Lloyd. CHP, IRC, salamat. CHP and IRC. CHP. Alright, so CHP... It's still on a downturn. I don't, I don't want to recommend CHP as of the moment since it's still going down and we're still expecting negative volatility for CHP. Let's see what will happen in the future. We don't have any signals for CHP yet. Um, IRC is showing us good supports already. So IRC, if you want to trade it, you can test out the support. Very low risk position right now. So that's good to enter. Gear Trader, sir, tanong po, stag, LTC rates, bakit wala sa eToro? Yes. Um, eToro is only allowing uh, large cap companies because with large cap companies, copy trading won't affect the market, right? The eToro is only allowed to do large cap companies for because if they trade, they allow lar- small caps companies. What if, uh, let's say, Olivier Danville is handling around twenty million dollars in him, and he invests in a small cap company? There's gonna be slippage, right? It's gonna affect the stock price. It's gonna make a. Uh, uh, re- we're bec- we're gonna be bec- uh, we're gonna be jockeys, right? If Etoro is allowed to trade uh, small cap companies, we're gonna be jockeys. If someone enters, it's gonna make the market move, and that's not healthy for the market. That's why Etoro only trades uh, large cap companies, right? And assets. All right, gear trader insights din po sa NIO and Nokia. NIO. Right, so NIO still on a downtrend, um, but we're already hitting good RSI levels, fifteen for the quarter, fifteen percent, twenty three quarter. This is good, right? Um, this is doing well. 
I want you to do more due diligence in this company before you want to enter NEO. Okay, uh, learn more about this since I don't know. Um, doing rally already gain after outlook. Yeah, so this is good. All right, for NEO. Right. It, this might be a buy anytime soon. Just buy on the breakout for Neo. Um, Nokia. Nokia Corp. No, no. Nokia US, right? I don't know which one. Nokia Corp. For US. I don't know which one here is for, I uh, know, for eToro. So uh, let's just eToro, use eToro Pro Charts, Nokia. Nok, yeah, and NOK pala. So NOK, so let's go for NOK. I know, yes, here, here, here it is. So Nokia, uh, it looks like it's gonna be on a downtrend still, lower highs, and we are seeing lower lows, lower lows. So it's still on a downtrend, it's, st it's still too volatile to get in. Right now, we have positive signals for RSI, but we don't have any clear buy signals, any clear support for now to make an entry. Ambrosio de Fontorum, sir, paano mag-change ng username sa eToro or pwede po bang ayun na ang gamitin sa pag-register sa seminar? Thanks. All right. We strongly recommend you create a different uh, account for day trading from your investing account because it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna mess up your decision making on your real account in your other account. So please create a different account for day trading uh, we recommend you create a different account for day trading because we will recommend you practice there and separate it from your investment account it's okay to create two accounts in eToro even three you can do that so yeah uh strongly recommend you create a different account for the seminar john cornejo good morning sir amazon po i am into amazon also amazon um still affected by the international market i entered amazon here at the support um somehow it's showing lower lesser trend mas maliit na um downtrend so i'm planning to average down on amazon still a good company overall it's just that the trade wars are affecting it that much so um yeah overall we have divergence naman kay amazon so this is still healthy for amazon this support right here um if you see a green i'd say yes you start buying amazon if it goes further down you just buy more amazon okay Alright, so that's it for today. I hope you learned a lot from our discussion. Again, just a little review. Um, for When it comes to passive income investments, any offer that will give you low risk and a reward of 8 to 10%, that's already a very good passive income source. So diversify into that. Just make sure the management is good, the company is legit. Wag po kayong basta-basta pasok na sa investment just because nasilaw kayo sa pera. Okay? Never do that. Um, market might be red for today, so konti ingat lang po. That's why I've been recommending only those who are already at that at the bottom. That is why uh, that is the best strategy right now. Best strategy for the market is do not trade PSE. It's gonna be very expensive for you to trade PSE. Wag po kayong maatat, right? Patience is one of the things you need to learn as a trader, and you have to learn when uh, you have to be patient enough to be patient and aggressive at the right time okay then right now is the time to be patient you don't have to gain right now and j what you need to do right now is position yourself so that when the market recovers you're out of at the best position possible okay uh, my technical problem daw si pse ngayon sir i'm not sure uh thank you sir i'll look for an update for that all right so that's it for today tomorrow we'll look for a very good topic again for so that i can share to you guys uh, please share this video para naman po for the future investments na mga kaibigan ninyo malaman nila about passive income and how much is already very good. Kasi ang Pinoy gusto pag nag-invest ng piso gusto ang return 100. Right? That's wrong. Right? We want to correct that. Right? Let's get rich together. Bye everyone!